Now, here's meteorologist TJ Del Santo with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Look at that beautiful weather all weekend, and that nice weather is actually going to continue at least through the work week, believe it or not. Yeah, nice little stretch of weather that we're in. A couple of weeks worth of beautiful days. A live city cam picture showing some cloudiness out there. We have some low clouds trying to work their way in. Now, we are going to be seeing some changes over the next couple of days. I think you're going to like them. Overnight tonight, though, a dense fog advisory is in effect for southeastern Providence County, eastern Kent County, all of Bristol County, Plymouth County as well. 2 a.m. to 10 a.m. could be finding some areas of dense fog. It means less than a quarter mile or so. The entire area will likely be seeing some patchy fog, but the worst of it could be there. In fact, Norwood Mass up in here already seeing visibility less than a mile. The uh, temperature is right now at 55 in Providence, 55 Newport, Westerly 55, New Bedford 55, 50 degrees over there in Taunton. The live pinpoint Doppler 12 radar remains very quiet unless we're scanning the skies looking for rain. Nothing out there right now, just a little batch of uh, low clouds and a little touch of fog across the region. 54 in Johnston with a wind tending from the north northeast at three miles an hour. You can make out some of this uh, low cloudiness working its way on in off of the ocean over the uh, last several hours or so. We have an ocean storm that's off to our south and east and it's uh, going to continue to work away from us. We've been tracking the possibility of this uh, storm system over the last week or so, but it looks like it's going to be staying far enough offshore. No major impacts on us here in southeastern New England. Let's take a look at what we are expecting over the uh, next 24 to 36 hours or so. I'm going to start you off at 3 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. Notice there's still some uh, cloudiness across the region, maybe a sprinkle out there across the, the Cape Cod area and islands, but that'll be a uh, more than the exception rather than the rule. And notice tomorrow night and into Tuesday we clear out, setting us up for a nice day on Tuesday. In fact, a little bit of a warm up, maybe a little taste of summer uh, on the way back. Overnight tonight, temperatures will be falling down and holding steady in the 50s with areas of fog developing. Fog in the morning, you'll see the sunshine return. In fact, it's one of those situations you'll see the fog and look up, maybe even see the blue skies. 68 degrees on the east side of Providence, downtown 68, Central Falls around 67 degrees in the afternoon. Another Another nice day tomorrow in the PM. Upper 60s in Riverside, 68 Warwick, Barrington, Warren, looking good. Temperatures in the upper 60s there. Same for Newport and Wickford and Charlestown. Hope Valley around 68 degrees. Blend of clouds and sunshine. Comfortable in the afternoon and dry. Upper 60s up in Woonsocket, Boroughville, Situate. Johnston, Cumberland, and Lincoln over in southeastern Mass. Maybe a little extra cloudiness out here. Winds from the northeast, 5 to 15 miles an hour. Temperatures topping out at around 67. Here's that seven-day future cast, and we are expecting a nice stretch of weather to continue through tomorrow in the morning. Fog, a little chilly in the low 50s. 67 degrees in the afternoon, however, on the return trip home. When, uh, Tuesday a little warmer. Look at Wednesday, up around 80 degrees. A little uh, taste of summer perhaps summer trying to make a comeback up around 80 in Providence maybe a little milder inland cooler at the south coast however and then for uh, Thursday into Friday 70s might find some extra clouds around for Friday and Saturday and maybe some rain showers around next Sunday but that uh, nice weather is going to continue right through the upcoming week with a bonus a little taste of summer on the way yeah it's perfect weather if it could just be like this year round oh it would it would just be perfect but, uh, Everybody would be here in Rhode Island if that were the case, but it's probably, not. Probably, yeah. All right. Well, coming up next on Eyewitness News at 11, a desperate escape.